As part of today's workshops, we talked a little bit about trochees, which are the opposite of iams, and we talked about quadratic, which just means four trochees in a row. Quadratic tetrameter is a perfectly serviceable form used from period to present day and all points in between. But if you write only in one in unstoppable trochees, one after another after another, this is not a good thing. You need to remember to take a breath occasionally. Of course, if you don't, it is reminiscent of a fairly famous poem. Your English teacher may have told you that uh, Longfellow was a great American poet. If so, they got two out of three correct. <laughs> Which one was wrong is left as an exercised listener. There's a certain metric meter from whose stanzas best be fleeing, where the shores of Gichigumi's ill effects on your well-being. Once you sound like Hiawatha, you will be hard-pressed to stop it. It invades your inner thinking. There is no defense to block it. You can scream and shout and holler. You can screech and you can bellow. But you cannot kill the cadence of that bastard named Longfellow. When the trochees march and force them, you had best be rather cautious, for their stomach-churning rhythm is inclined to make one nauseous. Oh, that pounding, lurching scansion. It's inimical to thinking. It's a jangling, jinking journey that will drive you soon to drinking. For the numbness of the bottle holds the only source of quiet that will still the motion sickness and prevents your stomach's riot. <laughs>